Let's take a look how to make this foil text effect here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this artboard size and I'm gonna paint it black and I'm gonna copy paste my customized typo from Adobe Illustrator and I'm gonna scale it up something like this. I gotta go with a more thick liquid bubble typo here. Now make sure that the text is white and the background is black. Now I'm gonna go to the layer with the text. I'm gonna rename it as text. Now let's go and double click on the text layer, open up the layer styles and let's activate first the bevel and emboss. Make sure that the style is inner bevel, technique smooth and the depth. I'm gonna go with 70, the size I'm gonna go with 60, angle 110 and the altitude is gonna be 56 in my case. And also make sure to change the gloss contour to ring. Let's select it. Let's bring the highlight mode all the way up to 100 and the shadow mode I'm gonna go down to 45. Now we're gonna go to the contour, activate the contour and let's change the contour with a rolling slope. Let's select it and I'm gonna go and increase the range to 67 ish. You can go with 70. Let's go and activate the stroke. I'm going to change it up to some lighter gray, click OK. I'm going to go with size 2. And now, but least, let's go to the drop shadow, activate it. And let's go to the opacity. I'm going to decrease it to 50. Make sure you're a multiply black color. Angle is going to be 90 degree angles. Distance, I'm going to decrease it quite low. And I'm going to increase the size somewhere around 30. And let's click OK. And now, but least, all you need to do is decrease the fill. I'm going to go down. Check it out, it's gonna make it more transparent. I'm gonna go down to 40s. I also gonna go and select the background and drag and drop a texture and arrange it accordingly. You also can add more contrast, select the text, go to adjustments, select the curves, and here you can make it more contrasty. And this is how the final results looks like. Thanks for watching.